Well, let's see what Steve Art's 89. I'm a huge horror fan, and I saw this news a little while ago, and I kind of couldn't deal with it, because I, I, I just couldn't really deal with it. But um, basically, I want to talk about the fact that Blumhouse Studios, amongst others, is producing a three, $400 million Exorcist trilogy. Now, I don't know how these people were convinced this was capable of making profit. Um, Blumhouse, this shocked me because Blumhouse has made its, its you know, career, it's, it's built its studio and it's like basically its cottage industry on horror, low budget horror films that make decent money. Now, unlike the rest of Hollywood, whose budgets have just skyrocketed to and ballooned to just ridiculous levels and made the films just impossible to make any profit, horror has stayed this little niche that, you know, you don't need a lot of money to make a horror film, you don't need a big budget but they still draw an audience. So they've always been profitable, they've always been there. And Blumhouse knew this, and they did great with it. And now somehow they've been sold into the idea, oh, if we spend $400 million on this film, we're going to make billion dollar films. It's not going to happen. I don't know what they're thinking, and that's the only way they're going to make any money now. Three films, $400, $400 million, so it's about $120, $130 million each. Now to make profit, these films are going to have to make at least like $300 million. I can't think of many horror films that have made $300 million recently. Um, I know the Halloween um, trilogy, and they are being done, directed by the same person. I think it's um, is it David Green. I've forgotten his name, and I can't see it because I didn't line up my article on the page. Um, the first Halloween remake was great. It was an event. It promised us the final confrontation of um, Laurie Strode and Michael Myers, and that she was finally going to beat her demon didn't happen, they didn't deliver, they lied to us, they they planned a trilogy and they gave us the first part and it was very disappointing and a lot of people didn't come back for the second one and a lot of people didn't come back for the third one at which point they had diminished Michael Myers so much that it lost so much of its power and it didn't do very well and I can't even get into that film but um, the first film did was decent and did well, it made a lot of money. It was a huge film, um, especially for Jamie Lee Curtis. It's the biggest opening for a woman over 50, and just it was just really great because it was sold on this feminist promise that it wasn't really delivered. Um, it was this marketing. So, how are they going to sell this excess film? Because I hate to break it to these people, but religion is not the power in society it used to be. People were terrified of the excess back in the day in the 70s because people still believed in religion and a lot of people the numbers are down so low now people don't I mean I know there's still a lot of people who believe in religion a lot of people follow it a lot of people are fanatical um, and there are a lot of political problems about um, separating religion and state and people trying to you know it's just a huge mess so I know religion hasn't exactly died or gone away but the cultural shift the thing that made people so terrified of you know these these demon this, this demon possession in the exorcist was because of their understanding of religion, their belief, or not questioning religion. It was just something we grew up with. But people don't have that attitude anymore. I mean, for a demon to be exorcised by a priest, they'd have to believe in the religion that particular priest is promoting. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And I can't buy into it. I can't watch those films. I was scared by them when I first saw them a little bit, but not really because they just don't work on, on they just don't work anymore. They, they worked in a time and a place and a context that they don't work anymore and they cannot make these films scary again. I know they've been sold on the brand. I've got, we've got The Exorcist, we're going to make all this money. No! Look at the last films. Did they make any money? No! Um, and I'm just shocked that Blumhouse is, is doing this. They're going to lose money. I don't want them to lose money. I want them to keep making great horror films for $10 million each or whatever they're spending on these films. It seems It's probably more than that, but it seems like nothing. And they're making money. They're profitable. And they're consistent. They're giving us a regular flow of these, you know, quality films. And I feel like they're just going to hurt themselves. And I saw this, and I sort of didn't want to comment on it because I don't want to comment on religion. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a ridiculous premise now to most people. And you're going to have to get everyone in to see this film. And we've all seen it. And we saw it when it was actually relevant and worked and scared us, and it doesn't anymore. So I can't see how they're going to make it anymore. Not to say they're not filmed well, not to say they're not well directed, not to say Ellen Burstyn isn't amazing. She looks great coming back to reprise her role as Regan's mother. Um, I think her name was Chris, I've forgotten. Um, she was Regan's mother. 
Um, and this basically this film has two girls being possessed and all the usual and just the cynicism that is surrounding these films with the idea of validating exorcism, which we know, I mean, I, I can't even get into it all. It's just, um, I just can't believe that they're, they're doing this. If they were doing it small budget, I could kind of understand being sold on the IP, but how they're spending $400 million. And what's worse, the talk is that they're going to release the second and third films directly to Peacock, not to theatre like the first film. That has to be a mis That has to be wrong. I can't believe that. But um, either way... It's a mess. Had to comment on it. We'll see what happens. It's opening soon. Up against Taylor Swift. So that 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 battle's already won. Um, yeah. I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of, you know, the potential box office of The Exorcist trilogy.